Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to another episode of The Prompt. <laughs> this is no longer, well, it's currently not a daily prompt, but it will one day again, I think, be a daily prompt. Although at that point, I think we're probably going to end up changing the name. So for now, I'm just calling it The Prompt. Uh, we're going to actually take the little daily squibble off the, uh, <laughs> off the, off the front titles while we're doing this. Now, the reason that I say that is because today is, of course, uh, status update Saturday. <laughs> um, no longer part of the themed thing, but every week I want to give you a little bit of a status update on our progress. The goal here, as you may know, or if you don't, if you're new to this all around here, is, um, I'm currently building an independent film studio from the ground up from nothing. The goal, the objective... The strategy, the plan, is to start with a single film that we start by making with literally nothing, as close to zero dollars as I can possibly get, to prove that anyone anywhere on the, around the world today can start with nothing, make a film that connects with an audience. The secret sauce, I agree, I argue, my thesis, my presentation to you, is that what leads the way is story. What leads the way is the quality of the writing, the quality of the, the journey that you're taking the audience on. And if we actually create something interesting, something compelling, something with a target audience, something that's going to attract and delight that target audience, I believe that we can do so without a budget because ultimately it's going to be the ideas, it's going to be the story, it's going to be the engaging experience for the audience that is going to make a project successful or unsuccessful. Obviously, there's some marketing aspects to it. Are, are we able to actually reach our target audience? Uh, are we able to reach our target audience with no money? <laughs> That's another big challenge. Um, those things are, you know, those are little stumbling blocks that we're going to have to figure out. But I do argue that if we create something uh, strong and compelling, that, um, that we will be able to build that audience. And so it is my contention that, particularly for the no-budget realm, if we're going to truly try to start and demonstrate that this is doable on very little to no money, my belief is that there are two basic audiences uh, to um, to that what that that basically are interested in stories, and their interest in those stories can overtake their um, their resistance to the budget problem. So, in other words, if you if you create a low budget, no budget project, I believe there are basically two audiences that are in, can be enthusiastic about those projects despite the budget limitations, and that would be horror films and science fiction. Uh, audiences. So um, I, being not interested in making horror films <laughs> uh, for many reasons, people who've been watching for a while uh, know, um, I've decided to make a science fiction film. So where we're at with that, this past week in the writer's room, if you don't know what that is, whew, I'm doing a bit of a recap for everybody. Sorry, guys who've been here watching this all along. Uh, so I built a screenwriting system and, to develop the skills after searching for years and years and unable to find anything viable. Uh, I developed a system whereby writers develop the skills that producers need them to have. Uh, so now I'm creating a module at the end of that where people who complete the system and thereby theoretically anyway develop all those skills uh, will come together. We're going to be writing a bunch of projects. I will then go produce. That will then be the source of material for the independent film studio that I'm building. Ultimately, the goal, the end goal, well, it's actually the mid-range goal, but the large goal five to ten years from now, closer to five hopefully, uh, would be to release one new film each week. Now, uh, in order to get there, we have to systematize the process. We have to make sure that not only do writers have all these skills, but these skills, we can actually implement those skills. Uh, the first trial group that I have right now is about, uh, I think, eight writers in there at the moment. They're writing, each is writing a different project, and we're all contributing to everybody else's projects. Uh, I'm spearheading the first one, this no-budget sci-fi project. Uh, partly so that if we crash and fail and bomb, uh, it's on my shoulders and not on their shoulders. Uh, but also uh, as a way to sort of demonstrate what it is. A lot of people have a really hard time getting their head around actually making a movie for nothing. Um, even the even even basic screenwriting courses, even basic screenwriting um, ideas 
it often involves minimal level budgets. We're talking ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollar budgets to make something even at the microest level. To make something with as close to zero as possible, it's just a whole different sort of philosophy and a different way to approach the filmmaking process. Writing for that process uh, is quite challenging. It's one of the biggest challenges I found in the writers' room. Uh, this first trial writers' room group that we're doing is everybody sort of still thinking in budget within budget constraints. Uh, and so <laughs> trying to develop something that I can actually go out and make for actually no money at all, um, them not knowing the resources that I have available to me, them not me not necessarily knowing what resources I'll have available on the day or what actors I'll be able to get uh, to join me on this adventure and all that sort of thing. Um, I, two of the actors that I had initially thought for this project, one of them is not going to be able to join me. Uh, another one may be able to join me, but needs to wait a little bit longer, and we don't yet have dates finalized for that. So ultimately, we have <laughs> well, I, my, my hope was to shoot this in June. It's possible that may get pushed back to about August, uh, which I had hoped to be shooting the second film at that point. Uh, so we may try to finish developing this first film and then in the writer's room group, continue developing the second project so that come August, we're able to then go shoot the one and then possibly even just go back to back and try to shoot the next. Now, this is all very ambitious and it's entirely possible that the first one will take longer than I think to shoot. Really depends on what we end up with. Um, not just from a story standpoint, from a, just from a logistics standpoint, from the actor scheduling. When you're shooting something on, on low to no budget, it's you're often adjusting things on the fly, adjusting to actors' real life schedules. If people are working for no budget, uh, often they're going to be only able to do things on weekends or evenings, or uh, they'll have to work it around their day job, whatever it might be. So a lot of these, a lot of the realities of how this production is going to come about. Uh, are still so far up in the air that it becomes a real sort of juggling act. The, the good news is, is, from a status standpoint, is that this past week in the writer's room, we discussed a lot of things. Everybody sort of put something up there um, that for us to discuss. Uh, we went through, we had the, the full sort of hour and a half conversation, and we really kind of nailed down what the story is. So we have that beginning, that middle, that end. We know what the basic uh, movements are. One of the writers came up with, some, with a fantastic way to sort of break down how to think about it, because the idea itself is... My aim is to do something a little bit mind-bendy. My aim is to do something that really engages you on the intellect and, and the, the, the kinds of people that would be interested in watching sci-fi stuff and trying to figure things out and seeing deeper layers of meaning within something. I want to have... I want to have something that there for them so that we can re-engage. They can re-engage with it. Once you watch the whole movie, then suddenly you start to think about the movie in a different way. Maybe that'll encourage you to go back and watch the movie again or to tell other people about the movie. I think that's going to be one of the big ways to uh, build this audience from nothing. So we've sort of figured out a couple of layers to it. Super excited about it. what it is. I can't tell you what... I, I can, but it, I've been thinking about this, and I don't really want to reveal the story elements themselves. I don't necessarily want to say too much about the content of it, in part because I really want to dazzle you with it. I want it to be interesting and exciting. I want the first thing that you see or to really know about the story to be a trailer or even a teaser trailer, which again is going to depend on what I can get together with my actor and we can shoot a teaser trailer for it, something that we can start to, to use for promotion. That's still probably a good month or two months away, so um, if not later than that, so we're going to sort of see how that plays out. But what I'm super excited about this week is that we really have sort of solidified what the story is. Uh, now all the writers are going to go into the writers' room, go over the course of this week and sort of sit down and and give their spin on what that story would be. That we're going to sort of pick and and choose uh, elements and figure out whose pieces are going to go with what other pieces. And uh, uh, partly because this is a relatively complex story and because there are many layers to it, um, because I really do believe that that's the way to grab an audience is to be. Uh, engaging on multiple levels. And if you can do that with, with no budget whatsoever, I believe that's the way that you're going to sort of 
attract the interest. You're going to get more interest in the project than you would if you just did a straight thriller or a straight horror film or, uh, you know, the latest film shot on an iPhone or something like that. I, I want to make this cinema quality, cinema caliber, uh, still shot with nothing. So, um, so the story really has to be the, the engine. So, so we need the, the brains of the different people in the writer's room. So I'm excited about that. There is some, there are some, uh, some things I'm noticing about the writer's room. Uh, I, I often get a lot of people saying, Hey, how can I join the writer's room? And I think, well, you have to go through fast screenplay to get to the writer's room. And what we're doing with this first trial group is I've actually pulled people in who've been going through that process, but didn't actually finish that process. And what I'm seeing more and more week after week is really just, it's at the end of the day, Screenwriters need to have a certain skill set. They need to have certain abilities. And it's not just about ticking the boxes. I did this class. I did that class. I've written five scripts. I've blah, blah, blah. It's not about that. It's about can you actually deliver the goods? And the reality is if you don't actually go through the whole system, you don't actually complete the whole thing. You just don't actually develop the skills that are woven into it. So it would be impossible, foolish, silly, short-sighted, whatever, uh, to try to now look for writers from outside or even writers who are going through Fast Screenplay at the moment. I've had a couple of people reach out and go, uh, I'm thinking about writing a no-budget project for the writer's room. No, 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 no. That's not how it works because we're going to produce the films written in the writer's room. You can write something outside of the writer's room, but we're not going to, we're not going to use that. We're going to use the stuff that we make in the writer's room to demonstrate because at that point you will have all these skills. Uh, the one thing that this trial group is really teaching me is that there's... There's no point rushing it. The people that we've pulled in that don't quite have the skills yet, don't that haven't quite been through the full process yet, not quite hitting the mark, and it's it, it just it just doesn't it become the contribution has to change, right? So for future groups, I think the 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 key is going to be to have people that have not only completed the system, but then have applied the system, that have implemented the system. This is one of the big things that people don't understand about fast screenplay. They think, oh, when I get to the, the end, I'm done. And like when you get to the end, then you have the system, then you implement the system, then you write project after project after project, you get good, get fast. And it's that level of skill set that is missing in some ways from this trial group, simply because we're trying to, I wanted to kickstart it, I wanted to get it going before we kind of had this mastery level result, because at some point, I just want to kickstart this thing, right? Um, but ultimately, it, it doesn't kind of work that way. It's like you can wish I can pull three, five, ten writers from wherever and say, hey, let's get together and let's try to make stuff. But if they don't actually have the skills, then we're really just, you know, it's like driving along on the street with a flat tire. And you're sort of like, oh, you're bumping. You're not getting, it's not a smooth ride. You're not getting where you're trying to go. Um, so what I need is for all 10 of those, or what I'm hoping for future groups is to have all 10 of those really be able to hum along so that as they hum along, we'll be able to develop projects quickly, intuitive, intuitively, powerfully um, within the sort of prescribed um, objective so that we can then create a system that cranks out uh, this kind of production output and, and ultimately builds the film studio. So... Bottom line is I'm very optimistic for the progress. I'm learning a lot about how to do it. Um, I think the writers are really starting to see how to make this happen as well. I think they're going to get better and better. If we don't have anyone join me in Fast Screenplay, if we don't have anyone else go through the process, if no, if everybody goes, hey, that's really cool you're doing that writer's room thing, good luck with that, um, and nobody joins us and wants to do it, which is largely the case so far, um, that's fine. We'll, we'll just do it with the writers that are there at the moment. So they will, they're interested. We'll keep doing it. Uh, other writers who are trickling in, We'll be able to join season two, season three, season 10, whatever of, of upcoming uh, writer's room groups. I think what we're doing now is really starting to gel, really starting to come together. And I'm starting to see how to apply all that to the future groups to, to, to not just theoretically build a film studio, but to actually build a film studio, to create a development mechanism, a development system, something that can reliably and consistently not just generate scripts, but generate originality, generate um, viability, generate stuff that is 
uh, that we can actually use that, we, that can actually be in sync with our budgets because they understand alignment. They understand the need for originality and speed and all that stuff that we've talked about previously. So um, so anyway, bottom line is it's going it's going really well. I'm super excited. I think uh, you know, there's a long way to go. I would love nothing more uh, than for this to move along a lot faster. <laughs> Obviously, everybody's we're all impatient. You're writing your screenplay out there and, uh, you know, you wish success was a little bit, bit more instantaneous. I certainly wish, you know, after 20 years of doing this stuff, I certainly wish I was a bit further along. I would love for this to, to snap our fingers and go. But I, I understand incremental progress. and I understand that it's a consistent, ongoing daily action that makes this happen. So I see that progress really happening and I'm super excited about it. So anyway, uh, we're not noticeably closer <laughs> to the, the film studio being in full existence than we were, say, last week. But we are incrementally closer and I can see it and I can feel it and it's starting to really gel. I'm super excited about the week ahead because we're going to start getting into some of the specific story nuances and working out some of those details of, of uh, the subplots and how the crossovers happen. And just um, just the layers of it are, are really exciting to me. Uh, they're really exciting to about half the group because <laughs> some of them are some of the writers are not exactly sci-fi people, uh, so they're sort of getting their head around some of the sci-fi stuff. Um, I'm a sci-fi fan, but I like uh, I, I, it, for me, it's really more about ideas and themes and 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 creating an, an extraordinary and engaging experience for the audience. So I want to I want to satisfy multiple levels with it. So I think we're going to get there. I think it's I think it's moving along nicely. So anyway, um, so that's sort of the status update Saturday for that. I've said. I'm not going to keep doing the uh, personal vlog entries since this is not a, a, a daily thing at the moment. Uh, maybe when we get back into a daily thing, uh, which from that standpoint, uh, the update for this. Now, obviously, I did the little uh, April Fool's thing on uh, Monday about quitting. I'm not quitting. We're not going anywhere. Um, scaling this back from a daily video series to a... My, my goal at this point is to do three a week. One update like this each week. One uh, The idea was to have one Q&A session, one Mindset Monday thing. I don't know that it's going to be quite that formal. I tried. To, I was going to do a Q&A uh, on Thursday, and you know, I, I did the I did the three missing uh, what was it three mi <laughs> three missing skills uh, video instead. That was just the thing that sort of spontaneously happened at that point. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything because there's only three videos a week, or even two sometimes. I think uh, I don't think it can be a a consistent. You know, every Monday we're going to do this or every Thursday we're going to do that, uh, including Q&A. But I do want to continue to do Q&A. So if you have questions about any aspect of any of this stuff, pop them in the comments. Let me know about it. Um, the I'm still on the lookout for videographers who would want to help me convert this back into a daily thing where we're going out. We're shooting behind the scenes stuff of actually building uh, the films. Um, I don't think it's really necessarily urgent until we jump into production on this first project. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm a little okay with it at the moment. I'm sort of focusing on, uh, on, on uh, probably marketing fast screenplay to people via Facebook ads and that kind of thing at the moment, simply because all of that obviously pays the bills to keep all of this sort of going. So uh, I need to get more people in for that. I don't want to keep bugging you guys about it. So I'm thinking to do um, Facebook ads and that kind of stuff, So which means that sort of a day each week or so is devoted to that. A day each week or so is devoted to the writing writer's room and all that. A day each week is devoted to this. Uh, and then we can, and then I can sort of put my attention where it needs to be for the other stuff. So looking for a videographer, point being, looking for a videographer, still looking for all the people that are on the, the team page. I'll put the link up here. Um, so if you or anyone that you know has any uh, interest in joining me on a volunteer basis initially, hopefully to become a paid position if we can start generating some revenue from out of all this. Uh, but if you're a videographer helping me with this, obviously it puts you in pole position to be, um, you know, cinematographer and or director on the films that we start making. So um, if you or anyone you know has any interest in doing that kind of thing, please reach out to me if you're in the LA area. Um, other than that, um, that's kind of where we're at so far. Um, turning this into a prompt for you, obviously every time I do an update, uh, it's, it's a good time to take stock of where you're at. Have you been making progress? Or have you let a week go by or 
three days or five days or one day go by without actually taking action. As I've talked about in, in many videos along the way, and the last one as well, you have to take consistent ongoing daily action. It really is essential. Even though I'm not doing these as daily videos at this point, it's still absolutely crucial to take action every single day. If you don't take action every day, you're pushing your you're pushing what you're reaching for further into the distance. Just chip away at it a little bit every day. So join me on uh, Instagram and on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, reach out to me via email or direct message or whatever. I welcome your contact. I really do. It's I I want to know how I can help you. I want to know what you want to see on this show. If I'm only doing a couple episodes each week, what do you want to see? Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want to know about. What are you interested in from the producer's perspective? If you could talk to a producer who was interested in buying your project, what would you want to know from that person? What would you want to say to that person? Say that to me. I'm not necessarily the person that's going to be able to buy your project for because I'm focused on building the film studio. But ultimately, I can give you the perspective. I can give, can give you that point of view, and you can use that to incorporate that in whatever it is you do. But we got to open a dialogue for that to happen. So ask questions in the comments below. Make sure you click that subscribe button and click that bell so you get notified when the new stuff comes along. And whatever you do, take action today and every day. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next episode.